it's Roya. I'm back for another video. As you all can see by the title, today's video is a very fun one. When I'm excited, I notice that I sing. Like I, my voice gets all high. I'm excited, y'all. So today we are going to, I guess it's, it's still an un unboxing, if you will. It's a pre-loved item that I got from Fashion File. Um, and so I had to open it before I like filmed it. I was going to do a like, let's unbox it together type, but I just, I was nervous. Um, and I don't know why I've ordered from Fashion Fall in the past. I just was like, I don't know. This particular purchase gave me anxiety. I don't know why, but it did. And I think it's because I got it for such an amazing price point that I was like, something wrong with this bag. Like, I, I, and I know you ranked it in very good condition and all, but I just felt like something's wrong. Luckily, nothing was wrong, um, but I got it for an amazing price. So I definitely want to share that with you guys. My tips and tricks on how I was able to do that as well. Um, this is something I have been looking at for years. So I'm very, very, very excited to add her to my collection. I'm glad she's with us. Um, see, when I get excited, girl, I just, my voice gets all high pitch but yeah really excited so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna stop rambling you guys know i can talk um and i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it is all right so this is the fashion file dust bag that she came in now i will say that she did not come with all the extras so no bag no dust bag but her strap came with her and everything. All the important stuff did come with the bag, but it did not come with a dust bag. But I'm fine with having the Fashion File dust bag. Not a problem. Now, somebody got to tell me what's going on with Fashion File and the confetti. Like, girl, y'all gave me like faux confettis. I'm feeling away. If you've been purchasing from Fashion File for a while, you know, you used to get like confetti. This was like... This one even no razzle dazzle. I was a little upset, but whatever. We're gonna let that part slide. Um, I did get my fashion file nail file, the receipt from purchase, the thank you card, and them letting you know that you can resell to them. I got a calendar. I'm so excited. Um, got a calendar. Definitely excited to have one of these this is my first fashion file calendar every other time i've ordered from fashion file i feel like it's been like in the middle of the year um i don't i don't recall any of my purchases being like right at the top of the year so i've never um gotten the calendar but i did get the calendar and of course y'all know i had to go to july uh my birthday month see it automatically opened uh to see what it was you got your gucci Okay, got you a little Goyard. Okay, got you a little Christian Dior. Okay, so love it. That's cute and red. But yeah, so got a calendar. Okay, and now for the good part. I got the Givenchy Antigona in the size small in the color, what is it, night blue. And it has silver hardware. And it is in the sugar goat skin leather. Y'all, she is gorgeous. I could, ask Clarence. I was like, I can't even breathe. She's so beautiful. I love her. She is stunning. Um, okay, so I, number one, I knew I was going to purchase this bag this year. I have been really working hard at work. And I told myself, I said, this year, when they divvy out our bonus, I'm going to treat myself like they ran me racket this damn year. Like, I want something new. And I've been looking at this. I do not have anything by Givenchy in my collection outside of fragrance and beauty items. Um, I just knew that. And this is the only bag I've ever seen by them that I like this uh size and the size down the mini because i did contemplate both now that i have seen her we will definitely get a mini we will okay um but yeah i just knew that i wanted her so when i started looking at this bag when i originally when it originally like piqued my interest it was back in like 2016 maybe and you know it just piqued my interest it was like whatever is whatever is whatever i didn't it wasn't a big deal 
um fast forward and it always kind of just stayed on my little rolodex wish list you know um but i never got it and i would see it over the years and just never did it well as time progressed i realized okay i still want it but i know i'm not gonna pay full price for it because on the retail market you can find it for a good price all right so fast forward to november 2021 and I finally said, okay, next year I'm getting that bag. I like made the decision. I talked to my mama about it. I was like, I'm definitely going to get that bag. So she and I were looking on Fashion File. I favorited a lot of them. And then one day we were FaceTiming and talking about handbags. And I went to show her something else on Fashion File. And this bag popped up in the color black for like $850. I showed it to her and we were inspecting it and it looked like it was in excellent condition. But me being the person that I am, I said, mama, I got to think about it. Child, I shouldn't have thought about it because, well, I'm glad I did think about it, but we'll get to that part. But I thought about it and then the next morning it was gone. And so I was a little bummed. Like, I'm not going to lie. I let out a few cuss words because I was like, oh, so uh that was in november or top of december um so fast forward january mid to end january i saw this bag and it was new to fashion file and it was 980 dollars. and i looked at it and i was like oh i love that navy i don't have anything in navy in my collection love the color i was like oh but the price is so inexpensive like i honestly was willing to pay like twelve hundred dollars pre-love so when i found it for 980 i was just like mm, that's odd like i don't know what i'm weird like that like because fashion file will allow you to follow the item i just follow it like and I, i'll go through and inspect it every single day because i'm like it's at this price point for a reason you know what i mean um so i followed it and then it went down like five percent in February and then I kept looking at it I kept blowing pictures up of it I kept doing research on the bag I realized that uh how you could read the date code and I realized it was made in 2015 and I was like okay did my research on that year the bag the craftsmanship the construction realized that i'm okay with it being 2015 because the strap is not detachable which i actually like because in my research people were having a lot of issues with the strap detaching so long story short i got another email because i kept watching it throughout february and last week i got an email that it was it went down from 980 to 785 so y'all know she Add it to the card, girl. Listen, she is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. And like literally her little imperfections, she does have like a little scuff there that I'm actually going to continue to try to buff out with my leather conditioner. Um, but the corner wear is amazing. She looks beautiful. Beautiful structure is still there there's absolutely nothing wrong with her strap absolutely nothing absolutely nothing she is so daggone pretty and she was 785 dollars so um that is something that i highly suggest to you guys don't just pull the trigger. Why I'm watching something on Fashion File right now. Watch these items. Don't feel like you lost out if you miss out on something. Because my thing was like, I was like, dang, God, it was only $8.50. I would have saved myself some money. You know, because I had in my mind, I was like, I'm not going over $12. i am not going over $12. i am not going over $12. That's what the taxes, everything included. And not even a month later, not only do I get the bag, but I get it for well under 850. So, you know, there's just, there's an art to patience and there's an art to waiting for things. You do not have to pull the trigger on everything 
instantly. Wait, especially when it comes to luxury items because you guys, I, I mean, like I said, structure is still, let me move this fashion file tag. Cause y'all know once you remove it, you cannot return it. Um, she's still uh, in inspection for me. So I'm still inspecting her. So I haven't taken her tag off completely, but y'all, she's just, oh, and let me show you the inside. Cause I'm just twirling her around. Whoa. Okay. So they sent it with the bubble stuff in the inside. So clean y'all. You tell me where you see dirt. I mean, well, it's, and then she's so clean in the inside guys. Those little black dots right there are actually like dirt. Um, it just needs to be shaken out, but it is in perfect condition in the inside. Nothing, nothing wrong with her at all. The straps, still perfect in my mind, still aligned. Like I said, structure is still perfect. She's still very much structured. Um, if you wanted to put like an organizer in her, you could. I don't have one in her now. I'm actually carrying, I brought the bag I'm carrying right now. I'm carrying my MCM pouch because I'll be honest y'all, as much as I'm like checking bags off my wish list and stuff like that, I haven't really been carrying a lot of handbags. I have been um, just carrying like something tiny or like my wallet because I don't, I'm not doing much. So handbags like this really don't get carried until I'm actually doing something. But that doesn't mean I'm not happy to add her to the collection. And when we are stepping out, she's part of the repertoire to pull out. I mean, I just think she's gorgeous. So very happy to add this to my collection. Let me show y'all the hardware as well, um, which is also, I just smudged it, my bad, but which is also in great condition. Condition. I'm so glad these straps do not remove because um, everybody who has the detachable ones say that they just, the bag just falls off. So yeah, y'all. She is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use her. All right, y'all. So that's the bag. If you guys want any further details, like I am going to carry her and stuff like that. Like I said, I just want to kind of, before I take this tag off, I just want to put things in her, see how she's going to fit. She literally just showed up maybe two hours ago. So you know, I haven't had my time with her, but I will definitely keep you all updated on this bag. And if you have any questions or things that you want me to kind of figure out about it, uh, let me know. As always, you guys, if you're an oldie but goodie, thank you so much for coming back and joining me. If you're new, don't forget to hit the subscription button on your way out. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.